When you want to show a Garmin Nuvi or Garmin Drive Smart as a drive letter in Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, or even Windows XP, if you go back that far, what you do is that from the map, click on speed, and then press and hold the speedometer number. You'll have to hold it for about five seconds, like this. There's no beep when it goes to this menu, it just goes there. And then what you're going to look for is configuration and settings. If you don't see it, scroll down a little bit and you should. And then from here, look for MTP settings. Again, if you don't see it, scroll down a little bit and you should. Now when it's set to auto detect, what will happen is when I plug this in to a Windows PC and I look under this PC in the file explorer, it will show it as the model name. This happens to be a Garmin Nuvi 56, so it will show Nuvi 56 with a Garmin uh, triangle icon. If I have it set to mass storage, it will sh uh, the internal memory will show up as the first available drive letter, which could be, for most people, that's usually drive E or F or possibly G. If you happen to have a memory card installed, such as I do, then we'll, what this will do is actually show up as two drive letters. You will have the internal memory, such as drive E, and then the memory card will show up as drive F. Now if you have RWFS set to show, do I recommend this? No, I don't. For the reason, there's really not much. You can, you can go look at it if you want to. There's really not much worth looking at in there. Then you'll actually have three drive letters. You'll have two for the internal memory, like a system folder and the other folder, and then you'll have the memory card. Ah, oh, sorry. You'll have a drive letter for the internal memory, another drive letter for the second internal memory, and a third drive letter for the memory card. I don't recommend it, because again, there's really nothing to see in there. Save that back to MTP. Mass storage or mass storage single session. It's most likely true you always want to see it as a drive letter, so I would just set it to mass storage. Single session. That can cause some weird issues, so I would not recommend that one, but mass storage, sure. Why would you do this? Well, if you're copying files to and from your Nuvi, uh, having it as a drive letter in Windows is a little more reliable compared to using it as the auto detect method. I think this is the better way. And the folders you will probably be interested in is GPX, POI if it exists, vehicle, themes, and voices. For example, if you want to remove voices from Let's just say you have some voices on there in a language and you just don't want to see them anymore. You can go into the voice folder and just start deleting voices. But remember, remember this. Resetting a Nuvi or DriveSmart does not restore files. It only resets settings. Meaning, before you go deleting anything or copying anything there for that matter, Back up your files first. Put them in a separate folder, uh, on a thumb drive, whatever it is you have to do. Because, again, resetting one of these, for example, if I go here and just go back a screen and I clear all user data, which would reset the unit. If you do that, again, it doesn't restore any files at all. That will only reset settings. So again, when you are viewing this in Windows as a drive letter and examining the files and so on, back up first.